Uh, it's Thursday, April 26, 2012. I'm waiting for George outside of the Lone Sharks here. They give you like a 24 hour cool off. You can't re roll your loan, you gotta wait till the next day. So that's what I'm doing. Well, I had to run George home, he forgot his check. You gotta give these guys a check and they uh, cash it and then. The kit, then you replace, you buy your check back later for a higher amount of money, or you let them cash it through. Anyway, uh, we're back, so I'm waiting for him again. Well, I ran George to the other uh, loan shark. We're up in Waynesboro right now. I don't think I'm going to get much done today again because of the running around stuff. I will get to the surge unit eventually though. i got to get that straightened out. I'm running out of days. I'm uh, waiting for George outside the junction. He's getting cigarettes. Alright, I finally made it up to the processing unit. I'm going to work on this uh, for a while today. Um, just 26. I got like five working days to be able to get the um, Jeep in the back of this thing. I'm going to just leave these um, boxes on the side. I'll pack them all the way to the end. Maybe I'll even pack them up another another level, a fourth level. That'll take care of some volume. And then some other stuff I'm going to bring over to the uh, time capsule unit. A little by little. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much between now and the 30th. Yeah, I'm making headway. I got this area cleared out pretty much. You can see I packed the uh, boxes along the side. <clears throat> It's really not as bad as it looks. I got this little pile and that pile on the back. And the table areas here which are mostly uh, <laughs> it's a bunch of packing crap and whatnot. <clears throat> I've pretty much rifled through all of it. Geez, just when I thought I found I uh, used all this up Here's another mean and tail conditioner. Years ago, my sister used to shine horses for her job, and she told me mean and tail was a good thing for your hair. Now she won't admit it. And uh, I bought like a couple cases of it at some farm thing, and, and it keeps turning up in my storage units. I don't have any conditioner out though, so I guess I'll use this out. I thought the conditioner was built in. Oh, you can see it getting down there now. I'm gonna start chiseling in on this. I found the last two rows of boxes. I'm gonna pull out this uh, big can in these two boxes. Looking good. Well, I guess this can's not coming right out. It's got a. It would cause an avalanche. I have to dig all that out. Maybe I'll throw that all out into this corner to sort. All right, that's good enough for today. I got uh, everything pretty much loaded onto the car. But I'm going to take to the other unit for the moment. Trying to get all the car parts over there. And hopefully I'll be able to bring the car parts over to George's. Pulled everything out of this uh, little corner here. <coughs> Floor's a mess again. I gotta bring the broom back here again. They started piling these four high. I gotta line the whole wall with uh, boxes packed four high. Which is actually taking up a lot of the bulk of this, because a lot of these were, were just packed in a hurry. Because I had to leave in a hurry different places. 
I got no notice when I had to leave in the hurry. I just packed the pack and on some of them. Some of them are pretty sorted and some aren't. They, all of them are generally sorted, but they're just not packed good. So, these are actually the pre-sort. And then I'll be able to get a grip on this and hopefully I can get a grip on the outlay. And then I can start a uh, sorting starting with the zebra boxes which are liquidation and uh, get some money for the rest of it to uh, build the uh, build the building down in Lynchburg or something start a fence company that's the plan anyway alright I put it all in this time capsule unit temporarily this thing's starting to look like a train wreck hit it again. A train wreck. A lot of stuff. I'm gonna pull out the I got piles of cardboard to throw back on the trailer. The cardboard area. I'm gonna throw out those two chairs. As soon as I get a truck going, then I can take another dump. Oops, I um I only used them for sitting in units that I've shut down already. Actually I'd probably get rid of that one too, that brown one. I like to have a chair to sit in when, when I'm working on stuff. But um they've outlived their usefulness. Other than that, this stuff's all got to be sorted. A lot of car parts. If I want to bring down to George's place, and that'll open up this whole thing. That door's going over to George's place too. Hopefully, put a new door on his basement with that. He'll have to buy the frame parts, and I'll, I'll give him my door. He'll have to buy the lock parts. But slow but sure. There's actually a lot of space in this unit if I, uh, if I clean it. And I'm still, I still haven't even started filling the box truck yet, so... Once I fix the roof of the box truck, I'll be able to put a lot of zebra boxes in there. And hopefully this unit will get open enough to start running some stuff from Pennsylvania down here to Virginia. But at first it'll have to take in the Florida storage, which I think it's, I think is theoretically doable. We'll see how much crap comes out of the blazer unit, because um, i got to bring that all in here first. Well, there's George waiting in line with the cars for the drive-up. <laughs> they run him down to the bank. He cracks me up. I don't know why he doesn't want me to just drive up to the window. But anyway... He wanted to go to Walmart, so I'm taking him down to Walmart. Well, George went into Lowe's to uh, look for paint, because he wants to paint his heater and sell it. He's got a gas heater we pulled out from downstairs. He wants to get some high temperature paint and paint it.